Everybody's more worried about, did he suffer? Who really suffered was my dad and my sister when they were killed. It has caused um, suffering and cruel and unusual punishment. To me, it looked like he was sleeping. What happened today was, was just um, horrible and, and outside the bounds of, of human decency. Coming up on 615 right now, in our top story we've been covering all morning long for you, was it a botched execution of Joseph Wood, or was it supposed to happen that way? Yeah, the condemned murderer took nearly two hours to die, gasped for air for 90 minutes, according to some accounts there. Governor Brewer calling for a review of the entire execution process. And joining us this morning, State Senator uh, Ed Ablesser. Uh, we just heard from the uh, victim's family, mm -hmm. of course, the family members there who have one opinion. There are other opinions out there, though. Yeah, Senator, it's nice to have you with us. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. I know for about nine years you've been working on a bill to repeal the death penalty here in our state. Uh, is this one of those situations that is an example of why? Absolutely. The, the primary focus of what we've been discussing, and we had a legislative forum recently that brought up this issue about the uh, inability to have a uniform um, in uniformly administered and uniformly applied procedure for the death penalty. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the case in point, the fact that an individual who committed a heinous crime and my heart goes out to the victims and, and the Deeds family and this pain that they have had to deal with, but the fact that we cannot uniformly administer a punishment um, violates our core constitutional rights based on the Eighth Amendment. And that is something that has been violated today uh, or yesterday in Arizona and what we're trying to work on today and moving forward in Arizona to join one of the other 18 states in the U.S. that has repealed the death penalty. There are a lot of states, um, not a lot of states, but there are issues in many states where these executions have uh, gone wrong. Other states, you know, have said, okay, let's bring back things like the electric chair or, mm -hmm. or firing squad or things that, that in the past perhaps might have seemed a bit inhumane, but then uh, were, were performed maybe with this uniformity that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Is there any support for, for a method that would work better? Or is this just a repeal of the death penalty altogether? I, I, from my perspective, I, I believe there is always an alternative in terms of an, a, a, a punishment that will truly fit the crime, but something that does not violate our Constitution. Mm -hmm. um, when, when we talk about someone who has life in prison with no chance of parole, that is not uh, an easy sentence. That is not something that people look forward to when they wake up in the morning. Um, Yes, there's one deterrent when we do kill someone. That person cannot do the same thing over again, but it doesn't deter anyone else. But what we focus on is the fact that constitutionally, there is nothing that can truly be administered um, uniformly and, um, and applied evenly to all people that are committing this crime and that are being receiving this punishment. That, in, in, the, in the sense of a firing squad or in the sense of an electric chair, the reason why we've moved away from that uh, historically is because of the cons constitutional question. Lethal injection has been the one um, execution that has, has somewhat been uniform. But as we've seen in Ohio, as we've seen in Florida, and as we saw yesterday here in Arizona for two hours, it could not be uniformly applied. And to me, that is a, a cruel and uni unusual punishment. And this will probably be a case in front of the U.S. Supreme Court um, soon because it truly violates all of our constitutional rights. Yeah. Senator Blesser, we thank you for being with us. Absolutely. Certainly a lot of questions surrounding uh, yesterday's execution and whether those drugs were used effectively. Some saying that he was snoring, others saying no, he was mm -hmm. gasping. So uh, I'm sure you'll be discussing it as well uh, as you go back and uh, speak with your constituents. All right.